So that's something that's really important to keep in mind, but it's not unprecedented. And I think that the best example that people should keep in mind is the 2009 H1N1 influenza pandemic, which has slipped from most people's minds. Uh, just a couple of, of, of figures on that. So, do you know how, so within six months, one billion people were infected with the H1N1 virus. And we had a different approach to that because people recognized this is flu, therefore it is not containable. We didn't have that approach here. We kind of started with this containment methodology, which has really diverted public health resources to travel bans, to border restrictions, to quarantine versus ramping up diagnostics, helping hospitals get ready to prepare for the cases that they may have, public health communications, uh, vaccine development, antiviral clinical trials, all of that is really where our efforts should be, should be spent, not necessarily trying to, um, tr not necessarily trying to basically keep this away because it's not going to be something that's containable. Just a couple of figures, I don't want to belabor too much of 2009, but remember 61 million cases occurred in the United States of 2009 H1N1, and we had about 12,500 deaths, which is lower than we get with seasonal flu, but it was something that happened. And 38% developed really bad respiratory failure. And we started to learn about get, giving people antiviral treatment very quickly. But this was a major threat to, to the United States when this happened. People forget about it because the number of deaths wasn't that high. But if you look at the number of people, the, the, the people who died, the median age during 2009 was not like 75, like what it is during a normal seasonal flu. It was in the 30s and 40s. So if you think about when the people who died from H1N1, where they were in their stage of life, and then multiply it by how many years of life they had left, it actually is a pretty severe pandemic if you look at the number of life years lost rather than looking at it as a straight, straight number. So it's really important when you look at pandemics. But